stamp her stuff and yeah. Do. But she was really kind of doing that to make it really, like, really sculptural because the nylon just slides over itself. Um, so there's the fraying possibility. There's also, as you can see, oh, these printed. Print we can do that. So, mm -hmm. Yes, I mean it's no, more. No. It, you don't get. You get more Easy. friction because this is quite smooth and slippery. Um. So you can also get these kind of bound areas. And unfortunately, I don't have the original flower to show you because it was one of my students. Um, but she had a flower which had a spiral section in the middle with little petals like this on the outside, which are done in similar ways, but it's just a slight difference at the end. Crin, when it's woven, is woven with this thread going through one edge of it. You should be very careful, occasionally and annoyingly it can snap, so you just need to do a little bit at a time. You can pull the thread, pull the crin down, and it gathers the crin. So if you do it at a, so much, you start to get this kind of um, almost like sea urchin kind of shape happening. I'm going to do that all around the side of that. <laughs> <Shell>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But would you, because I'm doing it on, on the round, yeah. Could I just continue doing that with a really long piece and then just. Well, if you so. start. This is what I'm doing now. I remember one job. It was me and my friend Gabby doing it. It was in the Miss Jones department. And it was like this flat kind of cinema hat which had metres and metres of this gathered, pleated, and then sewn onto the hat. It was with this little production line going. Oh my god, it drove us crazy. Because, yeah, you get to a certain point and it snaps. So you get this kind of <coughs> pleated effect happening. And it was interesting as well, we were finding different kinds of crin pleated in different ways. Some of them wanted to go like that, some of them wanted to go like that. But you can manipulate it to a certain extent. So if you're wanting these kinds of shapes, do you just work with a long section and kind of start to sew them like that? So you just need to gather it in and play with that. Um, another option, of course, is doing a running stitch along the side and pulling that as well. But when the thread's in there already, um, so you just be very, very gentle with it. So it gives you a natural frill, which is quite good for using either in trims or as an alternative to veiling as well, because it's got that slightly see-through quality to it as well. Um, now, what's that one? That you're holding this. Wired. No, it's not wine. No, it's just pulled. This is, you see, the print's been folded, folded. in half. Oh, yes. So it's that. been folded in half mm. like that, but the ends have then been gathered like that and stitched together. Mm. Now, one lovely thing about print is the fact that it's nylon, under a certain temperature it will melt. Particularly if you're pulling tubular crin over a piece of wire and you're thinking, how do I secure these ends? Because to stitch it all and all the fray, it'll just be messy. So one would be very quick. I think I can't believe this is switched on. Well, I thought it was switched on. Maybe it's not. But it's plugged in. No, I haven't switched it on here. Oh, no. Got an iron on. No, no, no. I've never tried it with this, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay. It's not going to start. Okay. So, so oh yeah, I can smell it. Solder iron is really good because it's got this hot element. Flames don't really work. I tried it a little bit last night because I couldn't find my solder iron. I brought a candle lighter, thinking possibly we might be able to improvise. Just to be clever. It kind of stuck it together a bit, melted it a bit. It's one really good way of telling if the fabric is synthetic or natural. You put a lighter to it, if it all goes and turns into a plasticky mess, obviously be careful, you don't want the fabric to set it on fire, but you know it's synthetic. 
Now this is a, a hot wire machine. I, I'm not sure if this... Because it cuts... With the process of heat, it can help switch that off. It hasn't done it as well as a solder iron, but with the process of heat, the solder iron, it kind of clumps it all together. This has started to do it, but not as well. Can you see it holds the sections together like that? So just a little bit of a solder iron on there can save you sewing, but also make it look kind of a really nice strong connection. So this is the spirally one. It's basically a length, this was about 40-50 centimetres for this, which is what is explained on this, so you can all have one of these, it explains how to do it. So you fold it in half and then you literally start spiralling it and stitching it from the middle section. Now for a tighter curl like in the middle, you keep your just spiral going like that. For a, a wider area, like that, you need to put a running stitch through and then pull it and it helps it splay out more. Okay. Then little petals to go around the edge is just bringing in these edges like that. So you're creating a much smaller section and then pulling these bottom edges in. Slightly like sea shelly as well. Um, yeah, so this, say the mixture of this kind of having this thread in there that allows you then to, to pull and manipulate um, can really create some kind of really interesting shapes. Okay. So that is Crin Olin um, for anybody interested. Do feel, oh, that's where it is. I was going to say, I'm sure there's... <laughs> seen it for? Laying around. Yeah, so you'd cut your lens, pull it tightly around there, and then just that last little section there, pull it tight, get your solder iron on. Nice quick way. You'd need a... that's too thick, that one. You'd need a slightly thicker one. Mm -hmm. Hmm? It's kind of so boiny, isn't it? Boiny, boiny, and really hard wearing and piece of grace. Um, so, as I say, this is Harvey's sample book, okay, which he has recently put together, and it is a wonderful library of materials. So, please do feel free to come and have a look throughout the session. There's a lot in here, so it's all divided up into sections, so the whole section on cinema.